Hi, my name is Ori Steele. I'm going to be giving a quick demo of Element, a DID method built with the SciTree protocol on Ethereum and IPFS. So this is a testnet demo. Um, it's currently under active development. And um, what I'm going to show you is creating a decentralized identity from scratch using the element DID method. This is a quick note about decentralized identifiers. Um, they're for um, self-sovereign digital identity. And you can learn more about them uh, on the DID spec website or at the Decentralized Identity Foundation website. First thing we need to do is create a wallet to manage some keys that are going to be used to manage the identity. This is for testing purposes. Under normal circumstances, you would want to do this in a much more secure manner. For now, we're going to go ahead and create a wallet in the browser. We're going to have to enter a password here in order to uh, protect the wallet private key. And when I hit download, it's going to download a private key and show me the encrypted wallet QR code, which I could then scan later to access that same wallet. For now, I'm just going to go and import the key that I just created. And you can see the wallet's been imported now. And I have to unlock it in order to use it. Entering the password I just used to create it, you can see it has one key in it currently. All right, next step is to go and create my first decentralized identity. There's two ways to do this, a light node, which runs directly in the browser, and a full node, which relies on a set of cloud functions that act as an API. I'm going to use the light node method for now. Um, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to go hit create. There's an Ethereum contract that's going to record some events, and I'm going to be signing transactions against that contract using MetaMask in the browser. And at the same time, those events are going to be stored on IPFS. So you can see I'm queuing up a create operation here. I can actually create more than one DID at a time from the browser, and they'll get batched together. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and create one. Now I have to anchor that create operation. You can see the MetaMask confirmation coming up. To anchor it. This is a fairly expensive operation to be performing for just one, one guy, but um, being able to do it in the browser by yourself is pretty awesome. So it's going to take a while for that transaction to confirm because it is on the actual Robston testnet right now. You can see it just got confirmed and a new DID has now shown up here. So we can go and we can select that new guy. I think this is the new one and hit resolve. And what is happening is we're going to the Ethereum uh, network, we're grabbing the transactions that are related to this DID operation, and we're reconstructing the decentralized identity document and rendering it here. You can see that it was created from the light node. So the next step is to show that we can do the same thing using a full node. I'm going to go over here to the full node, hit resolve, and this is making a network request to a cloud function, which is then performing the same set of operations. Um, and you can see that the server is able to resolve this as well. Now, if we want to perform a new operation here, this is what the create operation looks like. It's just creating a DID document. We can actually go and update this uh, DID that we just created. We, we're going to have to take the uh, end part of it here and put that into this part here in order to update it. Hopefully this is going to work this time. It's not letting me copy paste this for a second, so I'm going to come in here. And there we go. All right, so when I'm signing and submitting in this case, I'm signing using the wallet that's in the browser, but then I'm posting this to a server, which is then handling the update operation and anchoring pieces that happened in the browser in the case of the light node. 
So it's going to take a, a little while for this update to happen um, because it has to go to the server, the server has to anchor the transactions to the Ethereum network, and then we have to wait for um, the DID to update. So I'm going to give it a second to do that, and then we're going to hit resolve again. And hopefully we should see that there's now two service endpoints on this DID document. Uh, in the meantime, I should mention that only create and update operations are supported currently in this demo. Um, however, there's uh, tests in SideTree, um, Ethereum, the element implementation for uh, recover and delete as well. And eventually we'll add those to the UI. So we go ahead and hit resolve here. And you can see now there's this full node service endpoint. And that was the result of the update operation on this DID document. So in summary, we were able to create a wallet which has a public private key pair in it in the browser. We we're then able to go to this light node here and create a DID document associated with the public and private key pair that we had in the browser wallet. And then we were able to update that document using the full node by um, coming and taking the DID that we created, pasting it in, and creating a new operation to add a service node to that. And in this case, we didn't have to pay for the transaction because the server um, of SideTree node that's operating handles that fee. So in one create operation, we paid directly to Anchor, and in the other, we used the server to pay the cost to Anchor to the ledger. So that's going to conclude this demo for now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to open issues on the Element DID GitHub repo uh, under the Decentralized Identity Foundation. And you can learn more about decentralized identities um, on the Decentralized Identity Foundation's website. Thanks.